Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is LC and today I have some interesting news about Elden Ring coming to mobile. I am very confused and shocked but happy at the same time that this is actually like even in the horizon of news to cover. So with that being said, I'm going to start this right now. I want to thank you all for joining and viewing this channel. Whether you're old or new viewers or subscriber, I appreciate it all the same. And now let's get right into it. So reading off from screen time, it says a mobile version of Elden Ring is in the works. This was honestly just an idea. Like, I personally had this idea for a while. I'm like, what if they had, you know, like an Elden Ring game for mobile, right? Or like maybe something like it. And it turns out this is actually real. Like, this is actually a real thing. So, Screen Time says Tencent has acquired rights from from software for a mobile version. Tencent wants to make it a free to play game with in app purchases smaller to hit the hit game gets an impact. Progress has been slow. So, this makes me think of some things here. Um,. I was wondering like if they were able if they were ever to make an Elden Ring game, how would they like implement this? Cause like what would the free-to-play version be? What could it honestly do? Like it's that's so weird to have because like the game is itself is free to play. All I have to do is buy it, right? So what would the microtransactions be? Would it be weapons? Would it be cosmetics? That's interesting. That would kind of take the fun out of it for me a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Again, I'm used to gotchas. But like when it comes to a game like Elden Ring and, you know, stats matter a lot in Elden Ring. It, it kind of, it, you know what I mean? Like you, you kind of, farming is essential to the game, right? And when you're playing Elden Ring, it's going to feel kind of sucky to have someone else, you know, like beat you mercilessly just because they sweat on the game, right? Like, it's not going to be fun in that aspect. But I mean, it's this is still pretty huge, man. I'm guessing this is because, you know, not, not because of it, but maybe because of Death Stranding kind of, kind of, you know, I'm not saying it like introduced a new, well, actually, no, it kind of did introduce, introduce a new wave of gaming for a mobile to be specific. But like, I guess you could say it, it really show that you could actually push the boundaries a lot with mobile gaming and warframe and other games too so like this is honestly huge and i'm yeah where is the Elden ring dlc like i don't understand like why it's been like what maybe a, two years like i don't where is it at like i'm confused reading from xyle storm we already covered the first portion but it says however progress has been slow of course to develop a prototype says three people close with the project um i wonder why it's been slow it's interesting um let's read um the whatever this is okay hong kong february 6 china's tencent holdings has been working to adapt acclaimed action role-playing console game elden ring into a mobile version three people familiar with the matter said as it searches for a new hit to refresh its aging stock of games the world's largest gaming company by revenue acquired the licensing rights for the game from from software in 2022 and set up a few of dozen people to work on a prototype the same year it bought a 60 percent stake of the japanese game maker the people said, but progress has been slow, they added. Tencent did not disclose its plan to develop a mobile version of the game at the time. Okay, yeah, this is just the rest of whatever, whatever. Uh, the game released in 2022. Yeah, this is kind of just going over, um, like, its awards and stuff. While Elden Ring was designed as a premium game with a set price tag, Tencent wants to make it a free-to-play game with in-app purchases similar to the hit game Genjin Impact, developed by its Chinese rival, MiHoYo, the people said. Hmm. I don't know, like, I just, I find it so, it's not, like, not weird, but, like, I don't know, I, I don't know how that's gonna work, with a game like Elden Ring, I just, I don't know, it's gonna be very, very weird having a big game like that, Elden Ring, specifically, to be something that's, like, pay to win, like, I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that, um, Tencent and From Software did not respond to the request for comment, the sources declined to be named as they were not permitted to speak to the media, but the design of Elden Ring, which focuses on a complete experience after a one-time purchase, is at odds with Tencent's planned model. See, that's what I'm thinking, like, why add in-game purchase? That doesn't really seem right. If they wanted to just make, like, just a mobile game of Genshin, not Genshin, if they wanted to make a mobile game of Elden Ring, and that be it, like, you have to pay for it, obviously. If it was, like, 50 bucks, I'd be like, you know, honestly, I'd be cool with that. Honestly, me personally, cause Elden Ring was a fantastic, it was a beautiful game when I played it. But like, I don't know, in-app, in-game purchases, I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel about that. Like, on one hand, I'd be happy because freaking Elden Ring's on mobile, right? You can play that at your disposal. One hand, your device is probably going to blow up. <laughs> that's that's one thing. But like, this the in-app purchase kind of really throw me off. Um, 
Tencent has previously encountered issues with adapting big console games for smartphones. It asks project based on the popular Nier franchise in December over monetization concerns. Wait, which Nier uh, did they? Was it? Is it? It's not the same Nier Automata, the one I'm playing right now. No, that one's still going on. I don't. I don't think it. Maybe it's a different Nier, right? Yeah, it probably. It has to be, right? It, it has to be because there's no way that the, the one I have is still literally going on as we speak. There's no way. Um, Tencent has in the past year become more conservative in pursuing a game based on another company's franchise as growth in the gaming market plateaus and health and hefty royalty fee can leave a game barely profitable. Beijing's opaque game approval system may also leave a finished game hanging for months, if not years, before release. Still urgency for Tencent to find his new hit growing to find it, to find a new hit is growing, with his chairman saying that gaming business was under threat. While Tencent's past hits such as PUBG Mobile continue to deliver strong revenue, most recent products have fallen short of expectations. Hmm, okay, this is honestly, like, this is huge, but this is also worrying. <laughs> this sounds awful. I mean, like, I can't blame him for thinking that, because, like, oh my gosh. Oh, see, this is what I'm thinking about right here. This is what I'm literally talking about, like, is this what it's going to be? <laughs> Could you imagine? What, five star, four star. I'd be upset actually. If the black knife was actually a four star, actually that'd be good and bad because the pull rates would be higher for it. But like, it the weapon when I use is actually very overpowered. So like, it's it's just no way. Um, I just again I don't know how to feel about it. On one hand, if this actually is a true thing and they're actually developing it, this could be a fantastic new change for mobile gaming as we speak. This could change the way that they even approach mobile gaming in general. However. They could literally ruin it so bad. Like, if if for some twisted reason this game comes out and they include a battle pass, and for some reason Kanye's here, <laughs> I'd be upset. I'd be I'd be viscerally upset. I don't understand why they would do that. Could you imagine? Could you Could you imagine? <laughs> like, see, a lot of people don't don't like this. They really don't. Um, like, it's not that. I don't know. Like. Elden Ring, I think it works best as a game that's like you purchase it once and that's it. You being a pay to win game, I don't think it's really beneficial. It might make you money the first half, but like, how do you extend? How do you extend the longevity of the game? The game's already done, right? Sure, you can wait for DLC, right? And you know, if they keep the bosses the same way as they did on console, then like, sure, it will take a little bit. It, it, shoot, beating Elden Ring for me took time. It took a while. But like, you know what I mean? Like, th the game's not gonna last that long, I think, compared to other stuff, right? Because most games nowadays on this grand big scale, um, from mobile gaming in specifics, they do have like updates here or there where, where they can like add new content, new new uh, story, whatever that, that, that may be. But what are you doing for this? What? I mean, maybe they can work with From Software and be like, hey, can we do more stuff? Maybe we could do that. I don't know the stipulations behind it, but like, you know what I mean? Like, what can you do? The game can't really last that long unless, I don't know, like, sure, the Elden Ring DLC did get announced two years ago, by the way. Um, and whatever, but like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's going to be weird. It's honestly going to be so weird if this is the case. Like, I don't I don't know. Like, people really are not, are not happy about this. Oh, yeah, I guess because it's Tencent, I guess. It, it makes sense. Um, you see, I'm not, like, I'm not, I'm neutral about this, right? So, on one hand, I probably have such a blast playing this. But the problem is the pay-to-win aspect and, like, what could they do with this? Like, they could either do this absolutely great or mess this up horribly. Like, this could be so bad. On one, on the one hand, it could be cool. Playing at your disposal, you know what I mean? All you need is Wi-Fi connection, whatever, and just do whatever you want. Your phone will probably, again, your phone will probably blow up, but, like, it still seems great. The atmosphere will probably be beautiful in the game. But, like, are they going to make it, like, oh, these kinds of characters you have to summon for, or, like, you know, if you want, like, Radon's gear, you have to summon for it. I'd be so upset if that's the case. I'd be so... Because... The fun thing about Elden Ring for me was the open world aspect, you know, grinding, getting certain pieces of gears, getting weapons, getting like certain artifacts or whatever. I enjoyed that, you know, farming the little chicken place or that little chicken hut that you went to shoot the rooster and fall off the cliff and getting your runes. I enjoyed doing that. I mean, it was tedious as hell, but I enjoyed doing that. And you making your free, I mean, you and you making it pay to win, it might take the fun out of that. Like they would have to 
for them to make it pay to win or just include in-app purchases they would have to make it in a way that one doesn't break the game two doesn't in, doesn't freak, doesn't upset the fan base and like doesn't like it doesn't tip the scales of the overall aspect of the game that's the three things mainly because it, i don't know like what's it going to be like you gotta pay for uh you gotta pay for a certain amount of runes to, oh they would do that they would probably do that pay for your runes i'd be so upset if i had to pay for your runes in which i feel like that might be a thing i'm not sure i don't remember um them i don't really remember like a paying runes option in the actual game that could have been I, I, it's been a long time since i played but like i could see that happening absolutely but like any how you have to pay for costumes or weapons i'd kind of be upset and sure there probably would be some there will probably be some free-to-play weapons that will probably be great, but like, pull rates are annoying, man. I just, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But honestly, we'll hope for the best. Maybe we don't know if this is true or not. It's probably there's a there's a there's a chance it's true, chance it's not true. But I'm gonna hope it's true. But I'm gonna, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna hope for the best that like, if this is indeed true, that they don't mess up this beautiful game because it, i really do love it i find no flaws with the game so i really do hope that they don't uh, mess it up so i'm gonna wrap it right here thank you all so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think of elden ring coming to mobile in the comment section below are you guys happy for it are you guys upset do you guys think they will ruin the franchise or do you guys think that this will improve the franchise for the better let me know in the comment section below once again my name is lc have an amazing day god bless and i'll see you all later